Hello, everybody. Uh, this morning, I want to quickly show you how to download the Neuro Desktop Editor to a Windows-based computer, uh, connect it to your C4 synth pedal, and start auditioning and burning user presets directly to the pedal. So it's also possible to download the software to Mac computers, but for this video, we're just going to focus on the Windows operating system. So you are going to need a computer, preferably equipped with the most recent Windows operating system. You will also need a USB type A mail to mini USB type B mail cable. This is the same kind of cable that comes with most cameras. Uh, make sure that you're not using a charger cable. And of course, a C4 and a 9 volt negative tip power supply with at least 165 milliamps of output. And just so you know, you can do all of this while the pedal is in your rig. This way you can hear everything that's happening. So, okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a Neuro account. And that can only be done with the Neuro mobile app. So depending on what type of phone you have, you need to go to either Google Play or the Apple App Store and search for Source Audio Neuro. It should pop right up. It's a free app, so just hit the Install button. Now once the Neuro app is installed, open it and select Sign Up down here at the bottom. The next screen will ask for your email and it will ask you to create a username and a password. Now once you've done that, hit Sign Up down here and your account has been created. So the next thing we want to do is go to the Source Audio website at sourceaudio.net. From there, we'll go to the top menu and hover over Neuro Presets and open Editors and Firmware. On the Editors and Firmware page, you want to open the Neuro Desktop Editor section of this accordion. And let's scroll down and we'll find the Windows and Mac version of the software so you want to select the Windows version. So it's going to ask me if I want to save the file. Yes, I do. So I'll click Save File. So I'm using Firefox. And when the installer is done uploading, I just click on this little blue arrow on the top right to open the installer. Uh, other browsers will have a different path. OK, so here is our Neuro Desktop Setup Wizard. I'll just click Next. I want to modify, so I'll hit that. And custom settings, click next. And it's ready to install. I'll hit install. We just need to wait for a little while. Uh, and when the process is complete, I just hit finish and we are done. And from here, we can just go into the hard drive search window, punch in Neuro Desktop Editor, and open the desktop app. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log in. You'll find the login button over here on the right side of the interface in the preset section. So hit that button, and a box will pop up asking for my username and password. Uh, I'll just punch in the info that I used when I created my account then hit the login button. Okay, we're logged in. Now let's connect the C4 synth to the computer. So grab the USB cable and plug the small end into the USB port on the top of the pedal. And make sure that your C4 is connected to a power supply. The USB connection uh, will not power the supply on its own. So next, plug the other end into the USB on your computer. Okay, the pedal is connected. And now if you look in the connection field, in the top left, you'll see this blue box that says C4 Synth. The first thing I want to direct your attention to is this arrow icon. You can see that my arrow icon is framed in yellow. That means that my C4 Synth needs a firmware update. So all I do is click that button and a box pops up saying that there is an update available. The Neuro app will take you through a very simple process of updating the firmware. When it's finished, you just need to unplug the C4's power supply, wait about 10 seconds, then plug it back in. So when the C4 is reconnected, you will see that the yellow frame around the arrow icon is gone, and your C4 is up to date. Okay, now let me show you how to download user presets. If I click this wrench icon, the C4 synth sound editor will open up in the middle area. 
So this is where all of our fine tuning and sound creation in the C4 happens. Um, but that is for a different video. In this video, I just wanna show you how to download user presets. So if you look over here in the presets section of the interface, you'll see the six different sounds that come with the C4 out of the box. You'll also see all of these empty spaces. The empty spaces are where you can save up to 128 MIDI accessible presets. So there is a possibility to save a ton of sounds in the C4, but right now we're just gonna focus on the six presets available by moving the toggle switch on the pedal. So just by clicking these presets, I can pull up any of the default sounds on the C4. Here is EDM swell, which is a pretty great sound. And up here I have pure octaves. Now I like that one, but I think I want to put something different in that position. So let's go over to the cloud and check out some of the presets that other C4 owners have created for this pedal. You will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi to access these sounds. So we'll just click this cloud icon, which gives us access to the C4 user community. Uh, I click on the community tab right here, and I will see all of the user uh, presets down here. I want presets for the C4, so I'm going to click this drop down and select C4 synth. Now, if I want to get a little more specific with my search, I can use some of the options down here in the search section. Okay, so I'll hit submit, and now I see only C4 presets down here. So let's see what we have here. Uh, here is one called Nasty Bass Synth. I'll try that. So to audition a preset, all I need to do is click on the preset listing, and it automatically makes the changes in the pedal. So let's see how this sounds. <laughs> That is an excellent sound. But let's see what else I can find in here. Uh, Throwback Thursday, let's give that a try. Okay, I like that one a lot. So let's burn it directly to the pedal. Now my simplest option is just to hit this little burn icon uh, in the preset listing, uh, a window is going to pop up asking me where I want to save the preset. I'm going to override the pure octaves preset in the circle position. So I select that position and hit save and it's done. If I go back to my device, you'll see throwback Thursday here in this circle position. So while we're here, let's make some adjustments. Uh, I can, I can make additional edits uh, so that the sound sort of suits me perfectly. So I think I'm going to turn down the overall output level. I'm also using passive pickup, so I want to increase the input one gain. And just because I can, how about we try a different filter? Let's try uh, notch notch low pass. <laughs> Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so let's uh, go over here and hit save. And instantly that sound is saved to the circle position on my C4 toggle switch. So you'll see, now I can just go directly to my pedal, select the circle position on the toggle switch, and there it is. Okay, that's it for now. If you need any more help, go to our website, sourceaudio.net, or email us at contact at sourceaudio.net. Thanks for listening.